everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Today they've actually released a new small update including some new texture features. So first of all I'm going to get straight into it. It's not the biggest update ever, um, not the biggest update we've ever seen but it's quite cool. It's got four new textures in it pretty much and a bunch of bug fixes. So I'll first go over the, bu the bug fixes. They basically they fixed something that happens to rocky planets when a supernova goes off. I don't really know because I've never really tried it. I, I, I can look at the notes right now. Apparently they have, um, where is it? Right here. Come on, where is it? Yeah, they've fixed a bunch of bugs. They've also fixed um, the correcting the scale of the new Juno spacecraft. So um, the spacecraft about right about here. Where is it? Somewhere down here. Let's go down. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here it is. The Juno spacecraft right here. They've made it more realistic size. So I'm guessing they didn't have it the correct size last time. So yeah, there we go. There's a Juno spacecraft currently in orbit of Jupiter right now. So yeah, let's leave that behind anyway. And now the other bit was they also um, fixed the appearance of rocky planets affected by supernova. So yeah, that, that's it. And then there's just a bunch of smaller issues about Rouge limit and stuff like that. But anyways, to the good stuff. Well, it was still not really that much, but yeah. They've retextured the like the night time of Earth, so you can see here all of the city lights. They look pretty cool now because obviously I've got my graphics on high. I'll show you right here if you go if you go to settings and graphics look quality high. Well, I've got mine on high, but these lights look really really nice compared to what they used to look like. So you can see they're like it's much more realistic. You can see like all the cities and stuff. You can see in the UK where I live, you can see it London, which is right here. You can see it's the brightest part. This bit here. Like I can even go into London. Look. There, this is London. You can see there, it's the brightest part. And I'm guessing Paris. Is, wait, whoa, whoa, what was that? Yeah, I'm guessing Paris in France is probably this city here. Madrid and Spain is there. I don't know where Madrid and Spain is, but I'm pretty sure that's Paris there. Anyways, let's go check out the USA as well. Obviously, Africa's not got much lights in it. Uh, India's got a lot. Come on, speed up a little more, please. Come on. Okay, look at the USA. The USA is probably the coolest one. Look at all the cities. So we've got New York there. Um, I don't know America, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we've got New York, we've got uh, Florida there, then we've got... I can never know this part. What's it? I don't even know. <laughs> I know, um, what's it? San Francisco's here somewhere. San Francisco, Los Angeles, Las Vegas are here somewhere. I don't know what this part of America's called. I don't know the state. We've got South America here, not as bright. Now let's check out Australia. Obviously Antarctica's got nothing on it. Wait, what's up with Antarctica? It looks kind of weird. Look, you see it looks a little blue there. I'll check that out in a minute. Wait, well, Australia's really dark. Obviously, yeah, because it's got the outback, all of that random desert area no one uses. But you can see, like, there's some lights here. Obviously, um, Japan there looks pretty bright, because that's got quite a lot of population and technology and stuff like that. Okay, where's China? I want to see China. They've got the most population in the world. Not as much, actually. Interesting. What about Greenland and Canada? Where are they? Can we see Greenland, please? Actually, let's put the Earth onto, like, normal like that. Change it. So no, no lights really in Greenland. All right, let's check the south. Yeah. Okay. It's, wait, is there actually lights on it? And that's just the mount or the higher land area there. Let's put all of Antarctica in the dark now. So by doing that. Oh yeah, Antarctica has no lights. Oh dang it! I thought we did then. All right. Anyways, there's also a texture update for the moon. So now the moon, its texture is a lot more like detailed. So you can see here these craters. They look really detailed. And also the north pole of the moon. It had a little like um, it didn't look realistic, but now they've completely fixed it, and it looks pretty sweet if you ask me. Yeah, tell me what you think. This texture looks really nice, if you ask me. So yeah, there we go. Let's look underneath as well. So as you can see, like the detail in here is absolutely amazing. Like so much credit to uh, where credits due. The guys who made this game, they're awesome. Right. Anyways, also if we go over to Jupiter, come on, where's Jupiter? There it is. All right. So if we go to Jupiter. Let's quickly add its moons, pressing that button here. Now Ganymede. So it's the largest moon in the solar system. Ganymede now has its own custom texture. So that's what it looks like in real life. Like that is properly textured. And also, there's also a glitch for Callisto. But anyways, I'll get to that in a second. So there we go. There you go, Ganymede. That's what it actually looks like. So now I can use this in my size comparison instead of this Ganymede, which I tried to construct myself, but it didn't really go well. Yeah, here's my one. So there's a new one, and here's my custom one. I tried to make it like similar with the colors like, i made this obviously before this new texture came out but yeah that, that's what i made not really the best if you ask me but there's a weird glitch so if we um, go and try and select callisto here so it's the second largest moon of jupiter so here's ganymede right here so it spawns that but if we go to callisto it spawns a completely dark object so if you go to it 
and then select it and then go to its um, color options here you can see that it's completely black so what I'm thinking is they're working on a texture for Callisto because if you didn't know Callisto is a black object like it's a black moon like if you don't know what it looks like Google it Google Callisto it's more of a black moon it has like those are craters on it but yeah it's a dark colored one so the reason I'm thinking that this is black like this is because they're working on a texture for it but it's not out yet anyways I'll show you my custom Callisto which I'm currently using for my size comparison unless they change it so yeah this is my current one honestly I don't think it's that bad but it's not the best it's better than what like the random generation gives you but yeah there's my custom Callisto still not much color in it because obviously the like the objects with like custom textures they got a lot more detail than like custom objects anyway let's get rid of that so if you want to have a look at Ganymede here you go so let's get a full rotation of that so it looks pretty sweet remember Ganymede is larger than Mercury this could be a planet if it's in orbit of the Sun like, there's Mercury right there so that Mercury will fit inside it which is pretty cool anyways there's also one more thing with this update or the one more major thing so let's go out of Jupiter again let's go all the way back to um, the Sun yeah we'll just stay here and if we type in Sedna now They've actually made it so any like Sedna, there's my custom one, ignore that. Yeah, but Sedna will now spawn in red. Because previously it just spawned in like grey or like white or something. But now it always spawns in red if you select it from the menu. But I'm always keen on it, so I don't like these white patches here. So slow down time. I don't like these white patches. So if I get my custom one quickly, you've probably seen this before in some of my videos. But when I type in Callisto again, like Sedna. So let's get my custom one here. I, I definitely prefer my one. It may be have a little less red in it, but I definitely think this looks nicer than that. Yeah, tell me what you guys think. Just pause it there. Which one of these looks better, do you think? I just have to say I like my one more. I know this one's got a lot more, like, colour, like, blending in it, but I still prefer this one, honestly. I just like it. It's more of a plain red. I definitely recognise it as a Seddon more than this thing, honestly. But, honestly, still a good go. It left me is better than what it used to be. Because it used to be just be like a random moon. Like, Sedna could have been any of these colours here. It always just spawned randomly with, like, a random colour on its surface. So, yeah, there we go. And, um, that's pretty much it. Like, there's nothing else. I can go over the notes again. So it says Alpha 19.5 is a small update which introduces a few graphic improvements including updated colouring for Sedna which we just saw so now it only spawns in red and it says better textures for Ganymede, Cali um, not Callisto, Ganymede, the moon and Earth's city lights so only the cities on Earth because Earth's already really well detailed but yeah there we go that, that's pretty much it then it was just the bug fixes when a supernova goes off so we might as well supernova the sun while we are here so let's go and do that so let's put a sun inside the sun and this should make a supernova hopefully is it? Whoa, the sun's really red now, wow. Okay, we definitely did something there, and boom, it's gone. I knew that would happen. Alright. Well, look at all the moons of Jupiter, they're all going crazy. Because <laughs> all these tiny little asteroids. Alright, they were probably caught from the asteroid belt. So let's go and see, like, how the inner planet's going to survive this. Because, like, it, as the updates change, they slow, um, or, like, the rocky planets no longer survive. But in old updates, Earth and Venus survived. But obviously that doesn't happen anymore. They just get completely eliminated. Look how small Mars is getting. Looks like Mars is going to get completely eliminated right now. It's now the side all smaller than Mount Everest and it's gone. Got some fragments left over. Wow, these fragments look like they've got better detail as well. Wow. Wait, let's go and zoom in on that. Yeah, these definitely look different. Whoa. Yeah, they look cool actually. Those fragments definitely look more little detailed, I think. Right, where's Jupiter? Whoa. What has happened here? Whoa, what's all these fragments from? Are these from its moons? Is it Jupiter itself? Oh yeah, Jupiter is losing mass. You can see it's get it's losing mass. 257 Earths. But the normal Jupiter is 318. So it's, Jupiter's actually got a lot smaller. So that's what Jupiter normally looks like. So obviously it's a definitely bigger. Yeah, but Jupiter's lost a lot of um, mass actually. So that's not good. You see all these fragments. That's crazy. Anyway, let's speed up time so the supernova will disappear. Look at all these fragments. Let's remove those. There we go. And I got with the supernova as well. So anyways, let's see what remains. So does Earth still exist? I'm assuming no. Or oh, it doesn't. Well, with these dwarf planets survived, then we've got Sedna as well. Obviously the supernova didn't hit them. Well, Iris has got smaller though. Look, check it out. That Iris should be a lot larger than that. I don't know if I type it in. Where is it? There we go. So if we type in here. Where is it? Let's just place it. Is it coming? Yeah, that's how big it should be. But obviously it's got a lot smaller for some reason this isn't Uranus Neptune wait we are on radius right whoops take me to radius please yeah radius uh, so, so Neptune is now larger than Uranus and then Jupiter and Saturn are pretty much the same as they've always been so yeah so Earth will still get eliminated by a supernova so yeah that that's it I guess rest in peace Earth but anyways 
that will do it for this shorter video of the review of Universe Samox Alpha 19.5 title name prettier moons bug fixes so yeah the, def the moon definitely looks a lot prettier and obviously we've got Ganymede as well so yeah there we go so hopefully you all enjoyed this shorter video and tell me should I keep on up like reviewing these like small updates because they're quite interesting actually I like it when they include little features because I've actually been wanting them to add a Ganymede um, texture for a while so i'm hoping in the next update we should see one for callisto because it kind of looks weird just as a black ball right now which is yes yeah, very strange but anyways yeah this new ganymede looks really nice let's turn the heat off what am i doing yeah so the new ganymede looks pretty sweet so i'll give him like the thumbs up on that 10 out of 10 that looks awesome but anyways hopefully you all enjoyed leave a like um if you're new subscribe as well and i'll see you in the next video goodbye